I, uh, I want to just give you this really fast. This is from Breitbart. And uh, a former NFL player get tased. Fight with cops in wild arrest video. So uh, some black guy by the name of Malik McDowell, and he is a formal second-round draft pick of the Seattle Seahawks. Um, he was arrested in February for assaulting a police officer. Now, the intense arrest footage has been released. It's out there now. It happened back in uh, February, but it's just coming out, I guess. The incident took place in February in uh, Michigan, of course. Um, and so, as, as can be seen in this video, the officer tell McDowell to remain in his vehicle after McDowell was caught speeding. However, McDowell refuses and continues inside the convenience store. This is from TMZ. Here's where McDowell being poured over for speeding and spinning out. You got your license registration insurance on it? Yeah, I have some super, uh, I need your supervisor. I know you don't, I need your license. I need your supervisor. Supervisor's not on right now, man. So what you I'm the officer in charge. Sir, I'm going to ask you two more times. I'm going to ask you one more time. I need a supervisor. I need license, registration, and insurance. And I need a supervisor. I told you there isn't a supervisor. I, I am the pulled. supervisor. Okay, so what have I been pulled over for? 216. So where am I supervisor? Sir. You're not getting my license. Have a seat in your car. Okay, give me a supervisor. Have a seat in your car. Sir, put your hands behind your back. Put your hands behind your back. Put your hands behind your back. 216, I'm pulling you. Put your hands behind your back. You're going to get tased. See what's going on, folks? I don't want to hear this crap, police brutality. Black people, not all, not all, not all, but most have been taught not to respect police officers, especially white ones. And I've played sound bites here of black so called mothers telling their children, Oh, I worry about you. Be safe. The cop going to hurt you when you go out. I'm scared you won't come back home. They're telling their children. So, what do you expect the kids to do when they go out and run into an officer? Or they become adults and act stupid just like this guy, McDowell. And then when something goes down, here come radical, dirty Black Lives Matter, worse than the KKK. No justice, no peace. And stupid Whiskey Witch of the West, Maxine Waters, everybody jumping on board for power, accusing the cop, not correcting the, the, uh, the blacks were acting that way. And this has been going on for a long time because for the last 29 years, I've been warning that these young black kids, way back then I would say, hey, these young black kids are here in this mess. They're going to have the same mentality. When they run into cops, they're going to disobey the cops. They're going to yell at the cops. They're going to do everything but follow instructions. And when something happens, they're going to cry racism, police brutality. Blacks are being set up by other blacks and white liberals to be used. You heard Tom, a uh, so-called school teacher. No sense at all. How you be a school teacher? Oh, I forgot. The more educated you had, the dumber you are. The uh, struggle continued until the officer arrived on the scene and assist in subduing the 300-pound former lineman. According to TMZ Sports, cops said McDowell had a strong order. I bet he must have. No. A strong order of intoxication, intoxications, uh, emanating from his persons. But they still, but they did not specify that. I mean, they did not specialize if, it smell, if they smell alcohol or drugs. Here's a TMZ uh, soundbite on that. The officer and the former NFL player 
fight. Look how the black man fighting with the cop. Get down! Get down! For me! Get on the ground! Get on the ground! Stop You're gonna get tased, bro. You're getting tased. This is Three black brutality. Taser! 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 I need a super. Two sixty inch taser, boy. I said I need a super. Look, he's shot with your taser. Get out of the ground! I need a super. I need a super bike. I need a super bike. Drop the gun. Drop the taser. I need a super bike. Donator two sixteen in the update. Where is Bucking now? I need Go my car. Go my car. Get my car. Isn't that amazing? I would have shot him in the leg. <laughs> Do you want to get up? Boom, at, boom, boom. At the moment that the cops shoot him, here come the children of Satan coming out of the wood like, woodwork. Black brutality and and uh um the black politicians and all, all of them taking advantage of this to keep blacks angry. And, and they won't say this guy's wrong. He should have been going there. He had no been fighting with the cop. All right, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> what are you about to say? And the black and, and the black people won't give the. I, I bet you, they won't give the the white cop credit for not shooting them, because you can't please evil. So it's like even if the even though the white guy didn't shoot him and it didn't go, he, the black guy didn't get killed. Bet you the white cops still won't get credit. They're still gonna call him racist. Yeah, absolutely. And they're gonna ignore what the black guy did. Right. They, they're not gonna call him out at all. Nobody died, and the white people still don't get credit. And that's why you can't please evil. If he acting up like that, shoot him in the leg. This is why white people. I mean, nobody like black people. Nobody like black. No race. No other race. Even the homosexuals don't like blacks. They just pretend they do in order to use them. Amazing. What a mess. Amazing. McDowell was eventually charged with second, I mean, two counts of felony, a felon assaulting and arresting and resisting. So McDowell was eventually charged with two counts of felony, assaulting and resisting. One misdemeanor count of operating while intoxicated and misdemeanor driving on a suspended license. He ain't got no license. No wonder you want a supervisor. <laughs> I would want one too. <laughs> I'm high, drunk, or whatever they're saying here. And ain't got no license. What do you expect? <laughs> <laughs> I remember when I was younger, didn't, didn't, didn't get insurance or didn't have insurance in my car. I'd be like, oh, and then a, a police officer driving up behind me, way down the road. I look in the mirror, I see a cop coming. I'm like, Lord, I, mean, <laughs> I hope he doesn't stop me. And I'll make a left when I need to make a right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. But you were never thinking that you were going to get shot. And I wasn't gonna fight with no cop. Right. <laughs> but that's the thing is like if these if these people are attacking you and you're a cop, what makes you think that they're not gonna try to reach for your gun and shoot you? That's why it's like I understand why they have to clutch at their gun and and, and pull it out if necessary. Because it's like it's either you or me at this point. It's amazing. <laughs> um. Everybody know that the blacks are wrong, too, but most people would not say it. They know. They know. They know. Let me see. Come and tell me, Nick. Uh -huh. Come, Nick. Periscope. Leo says, I can never call in. The line is always busy. Hopefully one day we can chat, Jesse. You are awesome. I hope one day you can get through too, Leo. Keep trying, buddy. Don't give up. Don't men don't give up. All right. So what about in May? Oh, I just I was writing to you quickly, just a little. I was just writing to you quickly a little thing on this story on Malik McDowell. 
I think the, this is my producer phone. This is Nick. Hey. So uh, I hey. just think, hey, <laughs> I think it's interesting. I think why I chose this story. <laughs> All right, let's get over that one, guys. He's smart. That one on. half is smart, and the other half is out there. But no. <laughs> um, the reason I brought that story is because millennial. Wow. No, go ahead. <laughs> I'm kidding. I mean, I think I, the reason I brought that story is because. Uh, not only because of how outrageous it is, but because the public defends it. That's yeah. why. That's why it's important to bring these stories because I could, I could get any two bit story on the internet of someone acting out. Right. But these people get defended. Nate Burleson on on a late night TV uh, like sports talk show. He was. It, this is like mainstream television. He's talking about how this is back in May, remarking on this case, saying Malik McDowell. Man, I want to see. The video, I bet you something was up there. But now we got video, and it looks horrible for McDowell. Yeah. And that's why it's important to bring these stories. It's because they get defended. It's amazing. I've never seen a time in my life where the world defend black people being absolutely wrong. Just wrong. They see that. They're looking at them being wrong. And rather than calling it out, calling it as it is, they attack the whites. Mm. They attack the cop. And now the cops are afraid to do anything because they're going to be accused. They'll lose their jobs or they'll lose their careers or they'll be arrested when they were innocent cops. Innocent. Yep. What a mess. That's exactly why. Amazing yeah. story, Nick. Yeah, thanks. I just wanted to. You're amazing. You wow, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, man. Bye. Mind blowing story.